This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today, me and Wack take on the dregs. Let's get to it. All right, so we're here at the beginning. I don't, I don't remember what this area is called. There's a camp right here. We're, we're right here. New we're River. Go. New River. Well, yeah, but there's <laughs> yes. this camp has a name. I don't remember what it is, but this camp, and then the dredgers are right here, so we're going to work our way through this camp because I kind of consider the camp part of this whole experience. Sounds good. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually Skulker's End. I That's pulled it, it up. Yes, Skulker's yeah. End. Yeah. <laughs> Usually there'll be like one or two guys here, but I was standing here uh, before we started to record, and I just kind of insta killed those. So you will, uh, you may have to kill those before you run up to here. Um, but then once you get into the campment, your first couple should be right over here. And uh, you got a lot of archers here to deal with. Let me uh, get out of the water there. Get my shield back out so I can stop getting shot in the face. Struggle is real here. I'm I'm riding the struggle bus. Hey, stop it. Look at. <laughs> All right, Come let's here. try to get this Play archer. Luckily, though, they don't hit very hard, and if you have any kind of decent weapon and armor, you should be able to tear through this camp. For some reason, I just put my what are weapons gonna, away. Are you gonna punch him I'm to just death? Go I like it. Just punch everybody like to it. death. I'm gonna let's punch people to death. Let's see if we can get through it. <laughs> I do like no damage. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing a bunch. I'm doing six, <laughs> seven, fourteen. Oh yeah. I'ma kick him. Yeah, I don't do nearly enough damage just punching them. <laughs> It'll take all day. Ow, that hurt. Holy crap, we uh we got the whole clan over here chasing me. We got the whole clan everywhere. This this is like not good. I'm out of stamina. You know what? Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. I'm so glad I went and got this broken glass. It's going to make such a difference. Yeah. The, the funny thing is, is you could just kind of, you know, walk normally and they will, you know, chase you. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to... Why are did, there so many attacking me? I only got... It's only like 5v1 over here. It's fine. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you can handle it. There. I, I leveled the playing field. Now it's 2v1. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm mowing through them. It was a two-piece. So if it's not 5v1, should be pretty easy. 5v1, if you got decent armor, you should still be able to handle it eventually. The problem is, is they block and they screw you up. And you end up with the ones with the shields. So something we should note is that you do need a bow and arrows coming in here. Uh, yeah, especially if you're on a solo game. Um, but these guys drop plenty of arrows and you may end up getting a bow as well in here. So, um, just pick up the arrows as you come through. Were you waiting for me there? Yeah, I was oh, just being okay. your meat All shield. Right, gotcha. <laughs> All right. So just want to drag these guys all the way up here and make sure we get one killed on the thing. Okay. Usually, usually what I do. We can do that. So your other, you got two options. You can drag them up here, or you can knock one out and then pull it up here. But I usually bring the whole clan up here and kill them right in here to make sure you get one. Like I said, your other option is to just knock one out while you're down there. Oh, we got a we got a brute here. Yeah, I got one killed up there. I don't know. There it goes. Okay, Brute's dead. So, you right, can just do I'm that. going in. And there you go. Alright, and here we are at the entrance of the dungeon. There's a tablet here. You can click it. It does things. And uh, the ghost yeah, shows you... it gives you the dredger feet. The, the dredger feet. And there's theme. also a... There you go. Yeah, there's a book down here. Book that there. one's just for reading, though. Mm-hmm. A little bit of lore. For those of you who like lore, there's a chest yeah, down there here. It's probably got some trash in it. Let's go look. There's also glowing goop down there. So yep. the dredger feet gives you the glowing stick. So then you can make the glowing stick when you come out of here. The glow stick. And then other than that, you run into some dragons here, some Komodo dragons, but you can just run past all of them. I mean, you don't really have to fight them. They don't really care too much about you, as you can see. Just run past them here. I think just running past makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you can fight them, kill them, and farm them if you need the resources, but otherwise, 
just moving on. So these uh, ghosts show you what to do, like Firespark just did there. You hit the interact button with the door, and we just go through the door. Yeah, this dungeon's pretty cut and dry. There's not too much that you really have to fight. Uh, a lot of it's running through here, puzzles. Uh, that's why you need the bow, so you can activate some of the puzzles. So this is the first first area where there's a puzzle, and as you can see, there's arrows stuck all in there. You just have to shoot the center area right there, and the puzzle's going to activate. Uh, real quick side note on that is if you're on a server playing and somebody else has been through here, this uh, just continues to go so you won't have to activate the puzzles. All right. And that creepy chick is talking to us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. She just wants to be your friend. She wants to give you hugs. Just my friend? Yeah. She doesn't want to be friends with you? No. What'd you do to her? She says fire sparks an ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I miss that? Oh, no. I nope, didn't. you got okay. it. You know, just because you don't hold punches doesn't mean <laughs> there has to be hate. All right. And uh, I forget. Where, where do we go from here? Where'd oh, it's you go? right here. I'm, I'm confused. Listen, this is my second time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this your first time playing this game or your second what? time playing this game? The Witch game? Queen was my first time. This is my second okay. time. Okay. <laughs> I thought you had to go well, around the side there for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, this one's around the side. So there's actually, so there's this main pad in the middle and then there's a pad on the right and a pad on the left. So we'll try to get all of this done quick, fast. So we'll just go off to the right first. I'm just going to follow you so I look like I know what I'm doing. We'll shoot this one. And there are some chests sometimes, like back in there. I know there's one on the other side, but it's just got junk in it. Yeah. So, back in the water here, I think. And if you get down here and it's not working, there is ways back up like this. But there's the, uh, so you can see that chest right yeah, there. Yeah, right over there. And the other right pad there. right there. And so I guess we, we went in backwards order. Or I went in backwards order. You should go left and then right because then this pool starts filling when you hit the one on the left. Mm -hmm. I think I've been in this dungeon a total of three, three times, maybe. Let's see. I did the video on a playthrough. I think I've done two, two guides. So maybe. just down here. <laughs> Don't jump in there. That's yeah, that's bad. bad news. Just in case you couldn't tell from but, but there is a chest right here. Steam. Uh, I remember the first time I ever came in here uh, was probably two weeks after I got the game. Where'd you go anyway? Um, I was showing them the chest. I'm headed there. I'm behind oh, you. Gotcha. All right. Two weeks after I got the game, and uh, it was a disaster. It was a good thing I was with somebody who knew how to play the game because <laughs> uh, it would have been super difficult had I been down here by myself. If you got two people, you can use the whole shield if technique here. Keep them close. There you go. Those are actually what I'm worried about more than anything is those skeletons. We can, you can skip these two. That guy, well, this guy we can kill. Yeah, they're, they're slightly... Durable. I mean, as you can see, they don't have a ton of Where HP. Where's he going? I have no idea, but we don't do a lot of damage this this early game at level 30 either. So it takes a little bit to grind them down. I actually love it. I was just poking him in the butt, <laughs> so... what What's left of it, at least. I don't know. So the other guy over there, we're just gonna skip him, because why? Yeah. 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 I mean, they do give good experience, but I don't really want to die in yet another uh, playthrough. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm playing a little bit safer this round. So I'm just holding oh, block hey, here and just, just wailing on him. Ow, stamina. And there Thank we go. Thank you. Alright, so this is, this is going to be the last area where there's a um, pad that you have to shoot. And there's actually lots of goop here. So if you need some goop, grab it. Do a little, little swimming. Get my exercise in for the day. Right. 
So I know I was talking about this story the first time I'd been in here, but uh, it was prior to the bow update. So mm-hmm. there was no heavy shot. So you literally had to sit here and like try to get your aim figured out. Oh and my I'm god! I'm kind of showing that yeah, on the screen right now. You just had to sit annoying. here and keep doing this. I think yeah. I hit it, but now you can just do the heavy shot and problem solved. Yeah, the heavy shot just glides right across like that. So, all right, don't go that way. But I want to go, go this that way. way. Yeah. This way looks sketchy. I don't want to go this way. But this is the way, though. <laughs> this is the only way. All right, cool. So I think we should take out his ads first. So there's one yeah. on each side. All right. Um, this is actually where you're going to find the first nice. chest that has anything remotely decent in it. It's got a brick and a candle. Ooh, brick and a candle. Right? A brick and a candle. That's, uh, that's big money right there. You just hit the jackpot. Right. All right, there we go. One add. So you just want to stay behind these. You don't want to get up there too far like Fire Spark just did, because then that guy's going to start. Yeah, he gets a little angry. Spitting at you. The thing is, with this Let's guy, see. you can uh, you can block all of his attacks. I'm just going to watch him spit at you. I'm just going to stay back here, hide. And you just patiently wait till he does this. And then I like to just kind of meander around Coming here until out. he swaps down. And then I hold block and just start chopping. And I'm going to stack that bleed on him with daggers. Yep. I'm, I'm taking some uh, notes from comment sections about bringing things like daggers. Yeah, yeah. Bleed's a really good one for this guy. Yeah. Because as you see, it's Bleed still would have been a really good one for the Witch Queen, too. But, <laughs> you know. dumb. We were still learning. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now we've learned. Uh, do not, whatever you do, fall down in that. It is gross and will kill you, like, yep. instantly. Yep, that's bad news. Don't get, don't, don't go in there. Your thrall will, if you ever bring a thrall in here, I know this is the no thrall series, but if you do bring a thrall in here, your thrall will just go down in there and set at the bottom and be useless for you. Just a heads up. Yeah. And I failed to block and got knocked down, but, you know, we're fine. We'll just heal through that and keep on chopping. And as you see, he doesn't have too much HP. Can knock him down pretty now, quick. If you can, if you can bring him back towards these stairs over here, like mm -hmm. get him turned around, you can make your way back over here. He's he's jacking without, up a day without dying. There we go. And then just block him here. So then, what I like to do is when he when he pops away, if you'll just step back. Oh yeah. You know. And then, if you have multiple people here, everybody How can. Is he um, I don't know. He was hitting me through my shield. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Come here. Um, Come here, buddy. So yeah, yeah. You can Let's just right here. back up. We'll uh, we'll demonstrate here while I heal, because for some reason I was being hit through my block. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot him with all these arrows that I brought mm -hmm. while. That's he another thing, you. like, you can hang out, like, right about here and shoot him with arrows if you want to waste the ammo. Okay, I'm healed up enough. Let's go for that, that headshot. See if Ooh. we can, uh, block... Yeah, see, he's hit me again. I don't know how How he's... is that happening? I think it's where I'm standing. He's somehow hitting me. That's when I, weird. When I was standing over on the other side, he wasn't... Okay, so take Maybe. note in that... Maybe stand up on the path, quote unquote path, not yeah, on the okay, stairs. Yeah, okay, I'm blocking now. Yeah, see, see now I'm, I'm blocking just fine. There we go. Okay, so we can do that and then here. And then he'll come out like right there, and then the whole crew can just run up and attack him right there. He's not coming back out, by the way. He's done right here. Yeah, there we go. Boom! Yeah, so keep that in mind. If you stand right here and you're blocking, he may still be able to attack you and hit you. So you may want to come come right about here is where I was and we were all right here and then when he goes down you can just quickly run over here and dodge him really easily. So then don't forget the book. Book here, learn some goodies and uh and then get out of there before uh, yep. it fills back up cuz it does fill back up 
definitely want to chop this guy up. He's going to give you the uh, abysmal meat mm -hmm. and then the abysmal fangs. So we just learned the recipe for the reptile armor. And you need those fangs from this guy in order to make that. Yep. And you can harvest him up with uh, whatever there. Quick and easy. And then our exit's here. And then it brings you out right here. And that's it. That's the, uh, that's the dredges. Super... Super easy dungeon. Just run through most of it. Honestly, you don't even have to fight the skeletons that we fought in there. You can run right past them and run directly to that boss. And as Wack was saying, if the if you're on a server and somebody's already done it and the water's already going, it makes it even quicker. If the water's not going, uh, you can still uh, dodge those skeletons, shoot the stuff real quick, and go. Hey, mm. you want to bet something real quick? Mm. I bet I bet you can jump over this and not die. Probably. Just jump straight down. I'm jumping. Boom. Just a small amount of damage. I'm gonna take more. I would have laughed so hard if you would have died. Ha <laughs> 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 Alright, anything else to add for this one? No, this one was fun, super simple, and I didn't die. <laughs> Hooray for me. <laughs> Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.